Before we start with today's video, just a quick disclaimer, this channel is focused on adult coloring. The pictures and the content of this channel are suited towards adults and not intended for any person under 18 years. Thank you for respecting that and enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today will be part three and hopefully the last part of my Christmas color along with the Matchstick Mouse page from the Christmas Scavenger Hunt by Morgan O'Brien. Um, all the information you need will be below part one. Also the download link to this page will be below in the description box from part one. So I suggest watching part one and two first before heading to this video. Um, but yeah, we're almost finished, um, so I'm excited to finish this page, actually. Uh, yeah, we are using the Brute Funa Squares. If you don't have these pencils, that's totally fine. I will uh, name what kind of color I am using. Uh, you can also use your own set of pencils you have at hand. You can use whatever colors you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, just have fun with this page and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I will suggest we start. So I zoomed you in and uh, we can start. So we don't have much left. We have like the rug left, the pillow and a few things of these, uh, like uh, what's called the stockings, I think. The rest of the tree will be covered in glitter because glitter makes everything better. You know me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for the stocking, I have simply no idea what to do with the stocking. I'm thinking about green and something. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll leave the stocking until the rest. So um, I do know, however, how I want to color these things up here. Um, I'm assuming it's, a sp it's two spikes and just where the thing hangs on. Um, so for the spikes, I will use the same ow, the same dark warm gray we used for these stones up here. I just basically make it dark. I don't feel like shading much. And for the band that's holding the stocking up, we will also use some glitter gel pen. Ow. <laughs> that was my hand. Um, my pencil case just literally bit in my hand. I was like putting my pencil in here and then it fell on my hand. So my pencil case has bit in my hand. Yeah. Okay, uh, back to business. For this one, the cushion. Is it a cushion, a pillow? I have no idea. Um, Yeah, <laughs> I have obviously no idea and I've obviously not planned anything. Um, I think I will go with an orange. Yeah, an orange looks good. Yeah, orange is good. So um, I think I will use part of the same oranges I used for the fire. Um, let me just quickly think which ones that were. Uh, I will use... Um, yeah, I will... Yeah. Uh, zero six one oh nine. Um, and one oh four. I will skip the one oh five because I hope that makes a little bit more of a break in the colors. It's not too too gradient ish. Okay, we will leave the one. Uh, this is, okay. It's basically another. Uh, gradient of colors but a little bit harsher this time so I will start with 109 which is more of a darker orange I will do some shadows with the 06 which is a little bit more orangey red mm, what's it called um, yeah more and more in the direction of a scarlet and we will do um, the lighter part with zero 04, which is more a yellowish orange. So I hope this way we get a nice gradient without looking at too much like too gradient ish, if you know what I mean. 
But anyways, uh, same drill as always. I feel like... Yeah, I think my... Yeah, my pencil is definitely bent. Yeah, my pencil is bent. Okay. Um, but I feel like... Um, I forgot what I wanted to say. But it's basically the same drill as always. Just go with the darker or with the mediocre color around the edges. And then we can add some deeper shadows with a darker color, like a little bit of shadow around. Not too, nothing too crazy. You know by now probably that my colorings are very basic, but I like them to be basic. So we will do the shadow here. And here. Basically go all around the edges. Well, my, my, my colorings are basic, but it's fine. I mean, I'm coloring for fun, so I don't want to spend like too much energy on this. I'm kind of envy those artists who are really good with their skin tones. Like, oh, I really want that, but I'm also not patient enough. I'm honest, I'm not patient enough for this. So, yeah. decisions decisions but I'm, I'm happy the way I color now it's like it's very colorful it's very fun but it makes me feel good so problem solved <laughs> uh, yeah so this is where I want the color to go as we have a little bit more on the um, we have a more a bigger a bigger surface to cover this time, so I'm going all in. <laughs> I feel like look, this looks good. So now I'm going in with a darker color on the outside. It's almost almost too reddish, but it's the darkest orange I have in the set. So we'll make it work. As always, we'll make it work. And I will only go around the line work, like all around the edges. Make sure you don't go in too much. It's only there to give it a little bit of dimension, but not too much. Like, I don't know how to describe it differently. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm really bad at describing things. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I hope you can follow me. Um... I really hope so. <laughs> if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's a good part on the color along. It's all in the video, so you just have to watch the video and you know exactly what I'm doing. That's a good thing. So I will go over with uh, the orange we put down already, just to blend it a little bit and give it a little bit less harshness. If you look at some parts, it is a little bit too harsh. And now, fingers crossed, we go in with the lighter orange. Oh, one second. I just want to quickly uh, go here. A little, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that looks better, definitely. And now I will go in with the lightest orange we have. It's more like a yellowish orange. But I feel like it looks good this way. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, that looks good. I like it. I'm also, as always, going around uh, the darker parts with the lighter parts just to blend it a bit together. I feel like that gives a nice blended, polished look. And ta-da! We have a pillow. Yeah, I feel like that breaks it a little bit up. Now I'm thinking about the rug. And um, I think it will be blue-ish. Maybe, maybe light blue or something. Yeah, maybe some light blue with some light green. Um, I just quickly get rid of the oranges because... I don't want to have a total mess around on my table, which I already have, unfortunately. I haven't put back the 
pencils of the other part so I will quickly do that as well <laughs> uh, I'm obviously a very chaotic person so uh, yeah Uh, quickly do this and that. So there we are. Um, light blue and light green, maybe to break it up a little bit. I don't know. Uh, or maybe. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe more to the brownish direction. Yeah, that would also look nice. I don't know. I do not know. I was thinking maybe these two, but this is probably yeah, this is the one I used for the for the wall already. So that's not going to happen, but maybe Oh, maybe oh yeah, the, um Yep, I found the perfect colors, I think. So we are going in with this one and uh, this one so we are going in with a uh ooh, what's it called um periwinkle i think it's a periwinkle blue it's number 29 and with a more light olivey yellow mm, olivey green yeah olive green i would say uh, number 116 and I think those will look good they're a little bit more on the pastel side and I feel like it will add something to um, to the page yeah and because I don't want the blue to be too much I will basically do the um, th there are three oh sorry there are three circles on this rock, so the outside and the inside circle will be the green and the middle circle will be the periwinkle blue. So I feel like this way it doesn't take too much away from the earthy kind of vibe we already have going on. And um, it would still look good, I guess. And we're doing the same thing, going heavier pressure on the outside, lighter pressure on the inside, just to give it a little bit of dimension, not too much. In the end it is a rug, so no one really cares. Yeah, I feel like this looks good, and now we're going in with the green. I can't believe we're almost done, guys. I can't believe it. This took only two and a half hours to complete then. Well, almost two and a half hours. Except for all the charging stuff and the camera, which took forever. <laughs> uh, I had to charge the batteries in between, which we will know if you watch the first part of the video uh, of the of the color along. And um, I had to wait for them. I had to wait a whole day to complete this one, but I'm very happy. I did wait because it gives me time to. Th think how I want this to look and usually I'm the one who's like winging it and I'm still I think I'm winning it but some a little bit of the work I feel like can be done in front and I'm still winging it I think but I knew I wanted to have it like a little bit of a more earthy tones vibe because he is a mouse so, how do you like that? Yes, that looks perfect. Perfect. So now we only have to think about something for the stocking. Oh. I bumped the microphone again. Stocking, stocking. Um. Ta -dum, ta -dum, tum, tum. The stocking. Huh. I don't want to be red again. 
maybe uh, maybe red green or red and yellow uh, I don't know <laughs> I really don't know um, <sighs> I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I do know that the band around this one will be golden sparkle. So this one will be white and this one will be white. So red and yellow it is. That was quick. Um, now I have to think about which I used before. Um, I will use... Yeah, I will 0, 8 and... Uh, what was it? 0, 8, 0, 7. I feel like those look good. Uh, maybe 100 and... 102. Did I use 102? I think so. Yeah, these look good together. And for the yellow part, I will go in with. Drum roll, please. Number 91, 50, and 03. So it's basically another gradient, but you want to have like uh, something like a dark ochre. Nah, yeah, like a yellow ochre in there to give it a little bit of shadow and some lighter yellows. And same goes for the red. Dark red for like the tiniest shadows around the edges. The medium red for like most part of it. And the lighter ye ye red for in the inside. The same goes for the yellow. So I will do like this and this. Just quickly mapping out where I want the colors just quickly I feel like the reds are more um, are more blended into each other anyway so um, I can I just have to quickly sharpen this one a little bit So I have to not be so careful with the reds, I feel like. And I go over the red just around again. There we go. And just go on the inside. Yeah, I feel like that one looks good. Next one. I'm really trying not to rush this, but I somehow am rushing it. So I'm very careful to not rush it too much. Oh, and it gets a green foot. Ah, oh, that's that's genius. That is genius. Uh, I don't know why I'm here rushing it, but somehow when I see the end of a page, I'm always rushing because then I have ideas and how to start. Usually I have ideas. And then I'm like, yes, and I uh, do this, and I do that, and then we do this, and that, and whoop, we are rushing it again. So. Oh, I feel like this looks good. Quickly have to decide on a green. Uh, mm. 
Number 77, number 80, is that 80? No, that's 80, and number 46. So it's basically, again, a dark green, an even darker dark green, and a lighter green. So we will go in with this one, number 77, for around the edges. Then we go in with a very dark green, for even more around the edges, going in with the lighter dark green again. And this is the very lightest green, just to mush it all together. And I've been almost out of focus. Great! I hope you all have seen it. And now it's time for the fun part. Time to add glitter. Glitter. So, um, I will do this partly with gel pen. And I think I will use some stickles. Uh, you can use whatever you want. You can use gel pen. You can use stickles. You can use glitter paint if you have it. Whatever works for you is fine. Um, I will use some gel pen. So this is the Uniball Signal in... No, it's not the Signal, it's the it's the Pentol Hybrid Dual Metallic, I'm sorry. It gets some yellow here. And... Oh, I have to turn this around. Like a little sparkle there. I have to turn this around. Um, let me think. I will do... What am I going to do? Yeah, I will color cover this one also in yellow, the yellow gold, like this Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. Uh, I can always change it if I don't like it. I can go over it with stickles. Just leave it to dry first, otherwise it will um, react. But I don't think that it will. Uh, I will change it. Sorry. Thinking and coloring at the same time. So, yeah, that yellow is done. I really like how it looks. And now I will quickly grab some stick holes. Do I want some stickles? Do I not? Um. Yeah, I will do uh, another round with, if I can't find it, where is my silver? Excuse me, where's my silver? Okay, apparently my pencil hybrid dual metallic silver has decided to leave me. That's very rude of you. Um, is it maybe inside here? Nope. Can't find my silver. Where's my... Oh, there he is. Found him. He's not leaving. And I will give these a quick little silver paint. And now I'll find my stickles. Be right back. And I am back. <laughs> I had to dive deep into my stickles box. But here I am. So I decided um, I'm still, I think this looks good. But I'm also debating if I should put this one on top. I feel like, um, I don't know. I'll leave that one for now. For the balls, the bubbles, I will use uh, stickles in Christmas red. 
I feel like this is perfect red, as the name suggests. I just have to quickly shake it. It is perfect for Christmas. And I will quickly decorate that on the walls, the bubbles, the ornaments, the Christmas ornaments, whatever you would call it. Uh, this one is dried up a little bit, so <laughs> I might have to grab a new one soon. Which is a shame, it's not even that empty yet, but... There we go. We have one more here. And um, let me think. I'm still thinking about adding uh, glitter here too. So I will just quickly. Uh, oh, I know something. One second. I'm pretty sure I've used this gold before in one of my pages, so I will quickly look it up. Um, well, not on this page, apparently. Here we go. This is the page I was looking for. So this one sparkles more extreme than this one. And I kind of like how it looks. So I will probably, yeah, I will cover it over. And also, I'm thinking of covering his... Yeah, I'm, um, this one will be covered like the white in here. I wanted to cover it first in like glitter things, but I feel like I will cover it in this fake snow. I don't know if you can see it, but it gives a very nice texture. This one is also fake snow. It gives a very nice texture. Uh, what's it called? Is it fake snow or is it... Uh, effect snow is, that, is what it's called, I think. And it gives a very nice texture, so I will do that one. And I will also quickly shake my golden stickle and replace... I mean, I do like it, but I feel like it looks even better with this one, because on Christmas you have to sparkle. You can do a light coat as you've already done glitter underneath it, so you don't have to pile it up to get it, like, uh, looking covered like sometimes with the stickles you have to pile up the stickles to get the coverage but I feel like because we already added the yellow unintentionally under it we don't have to cover it that much so here we go that is that so now I'm also thinking I mean this one is already glittery but I'm thinking about adding some stardust on it um, this is probably my favorite stickle in the whole world. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's Stardust and it has all kinds of different glitter particles. I think it's the perfect glitter for everything. And I'm pretty sure that this one is the open one. At least I hope. I think so. Yeah, it is the open one. Uh, I'll quickly just cover it. Yeah, I feel like that looks good. So, now I also want to cover... Right, this one goes in Effect Snow. I do have some here. This is... Yeah, it's, it's called Effect Snow in, indeed, but you can also have it from... I think Studio Light does it as well, and other brands as well. This is basically just creating some texture. And I feel like his little head... Oh, You might might want to shake it really well. I have to shake mine for sure. And I might even add some water again at one point, but I feel like for now it will work. Yeah, that will work. It has a very uh, interesting texture, I guess is what you call it. It has a sandy, crumbly texture. Very strange if you use it the first time. 
but it gives the illusion of a more yeah, I don't know how to call it uh, more dimensional finish and it gives like a puffy finish I feel like it looks not only like snow it looks also like puffy fur or like this uh, very oh, there's something going on uh, this very poofy stuff yeah, I think mine is dried out. <sighs> mine is dried up. Um, I think it also got clogged because of the sand in it. <sighs> the last time I had to do that p much pressure I popped up, opened the bottle, and it ended in a disaster. So I'm very careful for this now. Oop, uh, yeah, no, I don't get it out of there, unfortunately, which is a shame. Um, I don't think I have anything. Oh, well, maybe I do. Maybe um, I can do this one. I don't know what it is, but no, it's not fitting. <sighs> These are the decisions. Okay, I will. I think I will sacrifice uh, one of my paintbrushes. Oh no, this one could work for perfectly. I have one of those. Uh, what's it called? Like for modeling stuff. But I feel like yeah, that could work perfectly. I have to be careful though, but I think it could work. Well, it's not the perfect idea, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And the good thing is, because it's uh, made of silicone, I can easily wipe it off. It's perfect. I do have a second bottle of fake snow, but I don't want to open it because this one is full. I don't want to open it, so I probably need some, I don't know, a paper clip or something and, and declog it. I think it's sand clogging in there. Pretty sure it's the sand that clogs inside. Well, this is not as good as for smaller details as I thought it would be. Bump the microphone again. But I guess it will work. I wanted to cover the white lines anyway, so... Ah, I'm ready. I'm not seeing anything at this point, so <laughs> wish me luck. I'm using it too much. I feel like that's covered enough. Put that lid bed on, back on. And I will work on that later when I'm done with this one. Well, the good thing on this one, on this silicone brush, is you basically can wipe it off. That's a good thing. As you can see, almost as good as new. Almost. Okay. Um. He is covered in snow now. Um, I want to give these two like a glittery effect. 
because glitter makes everything better. Can't say it enough. And I feel like it also looks very festive. So there we go. And I will also change this one to the stickles. Oh, what happened here? So, um, I will leave this to dry and I will see you once this has dried up. Here we are with the finished picture and um, yeah, it is also a couple of days later. Long story short, <laughs> my effects now uh, exploded uh, like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it, uh, I have white specks everywhere at my desk so I had to clean that one first um, yeah I was trying to get rid of the uh, of the blockage of the tube and then suddenly the uh, yeah the, the whole thing exploded basically uh, probably too much pressure but anyway here we are um, I really love how this one turned out um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, I will try a little bit, but you can see that the effect snow gave a little bit more of a 3D finish and I feel like all the glitter, it adds just something to it, it's like a sparkly uh, Christmas page and I feel like, I don't know, it looks really cozy in my opinion, I, I really like it. So yeah, I'm really happy how this one turned out and I actually ha really had fun with this page and I enjoyed it and um, makes me think that I am probably going to film some more color alongs for next year if you want to see that um, but yeah I, I want to take the opportunity and thank Morgan one more time for this great and amazing opportunity to film this page for you and um, for this beautiful uh, illustrations he has released over the last year and uh, I, f I know that it's a lot of people love his illustrations. I am also one of them. I need to color more in his books. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I love the pictures and whenever I look at them, uh, it makes me happy. So, um, yeah, thank you, Morgan, one more time. And um, I'm not sure if this will be my last video before Christmas, but um, if it is, I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate it, happy holidays or just happy free days if you don't celebrate Christmas and um, have a great start to the new year. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to post as videos um, simply because we are going to my family. So yeah, the chances are high that this might be actually one of my last videos for this year. So I thank you all for this very great opportunity, um, for your support, for um, yeah just your comments and um ah, yeah <laughs> basically just a big thank you and um i hope the next year will be as fun as this one was maybe a little bit more fun than this one because my year wasn't overall so good but that's something else um so yeah one more time merry christmas and um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button um it would be great if we can reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I don't think so, but at least we tried. And um, yeah, if you want to say something, leave me a comment down below. If you do this picture and you post it on social media, tag me and Morgan O'Brien so we can see your pages. And uh, come follow me on Instagram. It's the same name as my channel name. If you want to shoot me a message there, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, I wish you a very happy day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.